as a dog owner, I know how important it is for families to have outdoor spaces for their furry friends. I get up every morning and I take my dog Copper on her morning walk. It is a great routine and it's a great way for me to start my day. For some dog owners, the closest public space is a schoolyard. But many people don't realize that schoolyards are not allowed to have dogs for health and safety reasons on the property. Kids should not have to play in the same space where a dog has peed or where a dog owner has not picked up after them. Also, there have been cases where dogs off leash on school property have attacked students or staff. A couple of weeks ago, just around the corner, a young boy was seriously attacked by a dog while on the schoolyard. This isn't the first report of a dog attacking a student. Dogs will be dogs and need to be kept on leash at all times, but we also need to provide them with a safe space to run and to have fun, a space where they're far away from people and from students. Dogs provide so much love for families and encourage activity for people right across the city. Not surprisingly, pet owners in Canada have increased throughout this pandemic, and right now 60% of households in Canada have at least one dog or a cat. All across Toronto, dog households are growing. Today's announcement is about safety. Dogs need a lot of space to run and play and have fun. And this can't be done on a schoolyard. We need to keep schools safe and clean. As mayor, I'll create new off-leash spaces for people to take their dogs. Nearby residents will be consulted if there are any perceived impacts on the current environment. And I'll offer seminars on responsible dog ownership through Toronto Animal Services so people will know what to expect once they own a dog. With these combined efforts, I know our schoolyards will be a safer place for students, for staff, and for parents.